Hundreds of doom-laden studies about the effects of climate change on the Earth's oceans may be flawed and unreliable, the major review has found. For years, scientists have warned that rising levels of carbon dioxide are marking our seas more acidic, and that this spells disaster for marine life. But a review of hundreds of studies into the effects of acidity on sea creatures suggest the vast majority may be unreliable or not fit for purpose. The review, by two experts in Australia, said only 27 of more than 400 studies into the issue were appropriately carried out. Last month research from University College London highlighted how the ice cap in the Arctic regrew by 40% in 2013, surprising scientists. It is the latest research to highlight difficulties with many of the doom-mongering predictions about climate change. Last month, experts from University College London highlighted how the ice cap in the Arctic actually regrew by 40% in 2013, surprising scientists. It showed how much care needs to be taken when assessing claims about the Earth's climate. When it comes to the oceans, the UN has warned that the effects of increasing acidity could cost the world economy dollars one trillion question mark 644 billion by the end of the century. Again, rising levels of carbon dioxide are said to be to blame. Carbon dioxide causes global warming when it ends up in the air, trapping heat. But when it is absorbed by the sea it makes the water more acidic. Forecasters warn this so-called acidification will have numerous effects, including wiping out valuable fisheries and killing off coral reefs. The Earth's seas are not yet acidic, but the opposite, slightly alkaline. But forecasters believe they are edging towards an acidic level and could rise above the neutral midpoint of pH 7 by 2100. However, the review of 465 studies into the effects of acidification on sea life said only 27 used an appropriate experimental design. And 278 studies were clearly inappropriate which means the huge amount of research is not fit for purpose. Some of the research, if re might yield useful data, but not in its current form, say the authors.